Hey brother, Albuquerque police. Mm -hmm. Albuquerque police. Hello. Hey man, you doing okay? Love you. Albuquerque police department, I'm Officer Tadoni. I need you to step out of the car and talk to me. Okay, come on. I want you to be there. Wow. Yeah. So again, I am Officer Tadoni with the Albuquerque police department. I was not trying to drive the car. I mean, oh, oh. Sir. Are you okay? Sorry, no. Um, can you help me out? Out flashes, five six. I'm Officer Tedoni. Yeah, I called him. I'm Officer Tedoni with the Officer Tedoni Police Department. So, what did you see today? Well, my team leader was taking the orders and I kind of heard him like slurring, you know, and she was trying to get him to like repeat his orders and we couldn't hear him. So I started yelling at him because he was not answering okay. and opened the back door. And as soon as I opened the back door, you can just see him like nodding and out. Okay. And I went up and I tried like pushing his hand and I tried like yelling at him to wake him up and he wouldn't wake up. Then I looked over and I seen the bottle. I seen the scene. Oh, is this the Yeah, it's a surrender. Yeah, at the speaker. Okay. Um, What's the yeah. camera? Um, I don't know, it's a stick shift, so, uh... Oh, it's okay. But it was yeah. on? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I can't believe that. Did it happen to see the brake light? I don't think so. I was asleep when I got up there. Okay. And he's been asleep probably about 15 minutes now. So this is a silly question, but I just have to ask it in reference to, like, a possible DWI investigation. When you took the keys out, did you get in there and turn them and take them out? Mm -hmm. You did? Okay. Okay. No, uh, yeah, so we just asked because it establishes a cause for us to go, okay, he was behind the wheel of a vehicle that was turned on. Yeah, and there's a camera right there that can be a higher drive through. Do you mind getting that pulled up for us while we do our thing over here? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hey brother, Albuquerque police. Mm -hmm. Albuquerque police. Hello. Hey man, you doing okay? Love you. Albuquerque police department, I'm Officer Tadoni. I need you to step out of the car and talk to me. Okay, come on. I want you to be there. Wow. Yeah. Sir, again, I am Officer Tadoni with the Albuquerque police department. I am a police officer with the Albuquerque Police. I need you to step out of the vehicle. Come on. Hey man, I need you to step out of the car and talk to us. Okay, go ahead and take off your seatbelt. What's your name? What's your name? Hey brother. Hey brother. Hey. Hi. I'm yeah. Officer Tadoni with the Albuquerque yeah. Police Department. Yeah. I need you to step out, man. Go ahead and take uh -huh. off your seatbelt for me, okay? Okay, thank you. I I appreciate you working with us, okay? I'm trying to be respectful to you, okay? But I need you to step out of the car, man. The reason we're here is the cashiers caught you. Hi. The reason I stopped you, okay, is 
or we, we didn't stop you. The reason we're over here is the manager of Whataburger called us and told us you were asleep behind the wheel. And she um, found she found alcohol, an open alcohol bottle. Okay, so I need you to step out and talk with us, man. So, so find the And I take your seatbelt off. You step out of the vehicle. Hey brother. Hey yes. man. Hi. Yes. I'm Officer Tadoni. Yes. Go ahead and take off your seatbelt and step out of the car. Oh my god. Okay, so take off your seatbelt, step out of the car. No, I got that. I love that. You're right there. Okay. When I ask you to step out of the car, I need you to step out of the car. It's clear that you're obviously intoxicated by some measure. I could smell alcohol coming no, from you. No. Okay. Take off your seatbelt, step out of the car. This, I'm not going this, to. This listen. So listen. I'm not going to ask you again. Take your seatbelt off and step out of the car. <laughs> now. Just so you know, you're detained for a, a DWI investigation. Take off your seatbelt. I, I thought that was so beautiful. You need to listen to us. Take the seatbelt off. And, and step out. out. I was about to say, I think you're going to have to back out there. Let's go. So Let's go. Take off your seatbelt. Get out of the car. I'm Officer Tudoni with the Albuquerque Police Department. No, I am not interested. I don't care if you're not interested. When I ask you to take your seatbelt off and step out of the car, I need you to do that. Okay. I, 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 I we can talk out here, but I need you to take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Sure. So let's do it. Right now. Thank you. All right, come on, buddy. Let's step out. No, I don't You're on right now. You're detained for a DWI investigation. Again, Why? listen, Why? listen to me. We got called by the management here at Whataburger saying you fell asleep in the drive-thru, okay? You had open bottles of alcohol in the vehicle and your car was on, so you were... No, I, I, okay. I don't understand. Come on, and I'll explain to you it again, but I need you out of the car. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. I don't. Okay, why don't you come back over here to the back of your car for me? Right back over here where my partner is. I, I, I don't understand. Back over here. I don't understand. Well, we're going to explain it to you. So walk back over here. Okay. Do you need medical to come check you out? No. No? Okay. Like my partner said, you're detained up here, leave. You're investigating a DWI. You have open, open, alcohol in your car. I'm sorry, DWI. Because you were in a car that was running. Man, I, I was man, not trying to drive the car. I mean, oh, oh. Sir. Are you okay? Sir, no. Um, can you help me out? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Lean on I, your car. I was not trying to anything, you know. How about you? Can you sit down? Yes. All right. Go ahead and sit down right there for me, okay? Yeah. It's just, Come on. I don't. Was trying to. I don't want you to fall. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. You. you don't touch me. Keep your hands to yourself. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and sit down for me, okay?
Careful. Careful. Okay. Of course, of course. Do you have a driver's license on you? I, I do. Okay, but can you grab it for me? I can't. Why? No. Why can't you grab your license? Do you have Sorry, your license? I, I do. Okay, okay, go ahead and grab it for me. It might be in your wallet in your back pocket. I understand what you're saying. Okay, grab your wallet. It's in this pocket right here. I understand what you're saying. Man, I need to see your ID. So go ahead and grab it for me. Can you give me one minute? Yeah, go just, ahead. Just give me one minute. One minute, yes sir. Thank you. You got him. Did you get that video footage? Do you mind just chilling with him? Yeah. Do you mind just chilling with him? Yeah. I'm just going to pull up the station area. Alright, thanks man. Thank you. Are you okay? Thank you. I'm fine. You're fine? Just okay. So what's going on tonight? Can you give me... You want to sit there for a second? No. No? No. I, I would like just one minute. Okay. I'll give you a minute, okay? Thank you. Okay. Do you need to lay down? I'm sorry. Do you need to lay down? No, I don't. You sure? Yes. Okay. It's real in my car right there. Seriously. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. What was that? I'm so sorry. It's still leave it there, please. Okay. I'm just gonna look inside it real quick. From out, from the window. Oh yeah. And you're more than welcome with the window. Okay. I feel, I feel, um, I'm so sorry. Okay. So stupid. Yeah, so stupid. What was that? I just feel so stupid. So sorry. Why are you so stupid? You guys can uh, break down that and come over to uh, Harper Drive. I, I could have done so much more. I know. I am so sorry. You don't, you sorry. don't have to apologize to me. It's okay, alright? <laughs> We're just concerned about you, okay? I understand. And I just, I just want to get it home. Are I, you sure you don't need medical? You're, you're intoxicated, no. man. No? no. You don't? Okay. I just want to get it home. Beyond that, it just needs to be home. Okay. I know there's 600 other stars. Okay. It just needs to be the home. Okay. Okay. Did you want to stand by with the I'm not going to get it there. I promise. Okay. It just needs to be there. Where? At your house? Where's my home? At your home? Yeah. Okay. Serve my promise. Home. That's it. It's not going anywhere.
It's not going any anywhere, sir. You've already read my. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Period. Thank you. Not going anywhere. 745, I'm really, you know, I just want to get it home. Please, sir, I can get it home. Oh, like I said, so you're detained right now and in a DWI investigation, okay? Does that make sense? No, I understand. So, you know what's against the law to drive under the influence? I, I just want to get it home. You just want to get it home? Correct. So how did you get here? Well, you know, I, I had to, you know, I mean, they allowed me to get it. Please, can I just get it home? Please. So I just need you to hang out here for a second, okay? Please. Can you just get it home? Please? I mean, so, my partner is just going to get him. Investigate inside. Once he's done, he's going to come out and talk to you, okay? So, I just need you to hang out here. I just, just want to get it home. <laughs> what? What? What did I do that was wrong? You were driving the vehicle while you are intoxicated. No, I was trying to get home. You are trying to get home? Right. So you are driving? Yes. I did, I did do that, yes. You did drive? Okay. I was trying to get home. Please, I mean, oh my God. What? What's that? I'm sorry, what was that? Well, what do I need to do? do? You know, it's against the law to drink and drive, man. I understand. I'm not trying to, like, I'm just trying to get home. I know, but it's against the law to drink and drive. You know what I mean? I understand. So I just need you to hang out here, okay? Just take some breaths, all right? I understand. I just want to get home, please. I know. Okay. So real quick, do you have any weapons on you? No. No. Okay. No. I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm just I asking. would never. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking. Oh. Oh my God. Ten forty-five to. You almost said that. Twenty-three. Yeah. Charles, one thirteen. You guys can. Uh, Break down that and come over to uh, Harper Drive and Harper Place. Oh my god! Yeah, like you can see him like kind of trying to order, like you see his head like pop up just a little bit. Mm-hmm. 1045 to 912. And like on the head to like... I can get you the girl that took the order too, but like I was hearing it a little bit and you would like... Sh you can tell he was slurring his words a little bit and... She kept like getting yelling at him and I was like, what's wrong, you know, mm -hmm. and she's like, I can't get him to like, answer me back. Right. So I started yelling at him. And I even went out there as soon as I opened that front car, that, that back door, that customer was like, it wasn't me. Because like, I was yelling at him like. Did you want us to stand by with the female hat? So at this point you said you were yelling at him. Yeah, and I'm literally like, I'm pushing his head, like I'm pushing his head forward up mm -hmm. a little bit because it's like leaning on the door and I push it up and I'm yelling at him and I cannot get him to respond at all. Gotcha. And then that's when I see now alcohol, as soon as I see now alcohol, I'm like, okay. Yeah, and the alcohol is still on the car, right? Yeah, yeah, I haven't never touched it. Oh, I touched it to tell him how, um, yeah, how much was in it, but that was it. So at what point did you grab his keys? Um, you'll see me walk around. Okay. Stand by with that you I don't know. Passenger side? Yeah. Because I wasn't going to reach in front of him. No. <laughs> yeah, it's clear he's extremely intoxicated. Like, you can 
one of you saw him fall. Oh yeah, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. It's yeah. that's so probably there, like there I go. Okay, that one. I'm pretty serious. Probably the most intoxicated guy I've seen behind the wheel. Yeah, I, 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 I was telling the officer on the phone, I, was, I cannot believe he's still asleep. I turned his car off. I opened his door like at least three or four times I went in his car. Yeah. Um, do you ever drive his license oh, on I you? Do. Is it okay if I yeah, put you as a witness on this? Obviously, since you <laughs> probably saved a, a pretty gnarly crash, so. Yeah, that's. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is a brand new car. And it's a brand yeah, and I mean, he's in a, some nice clothes. Right, and, like you could <laughs> But, you know, some people just, doesn't matter how much you make or what yeah. you do, people make terrible choices all the time, so. Oh, hold on. Oh. 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 Okay. Can I sit up? You are sitting up. Well, can I stand? You can't stand, man. You're, you can't, you can barely, you can barely balance. No, I want to stand. You want to? Look, look. Yeah, see, no, sit. I know, I know. Sit, sit down, bro. Sit, just, just have a seat. I'm I don't just, want I'm really scared. You don't have to be scared. Just have a seat, okay? See how you can barely stand? No, I can stand fine. Stand fine. I'm scared. You don't have to be scared. I don't want you falling. No, I'm not going to fall. I'm just scared. Okay. So, hey, look, look, you're, you're going to fall, man. Watch out, there's a step behind you. I understand there's a step behind you. So, hey, just, just, me, just, just please, sit, just sit please, down for a second. Please, please. Sit down for a second, please okay? Just take me home, I'm scared. You're scared? Mm -hmm. it's just, I just got the car. I, I know, I see that. Mr. Alfredo? Yes. Alrighty, sir. So, I've been extremely respectful to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I expect the same in return, yes. okay? Yes. Again, yes. I am Officer Tidoni with the Alfredo Police course. Department, of okay? Of course, yeah. Okay. So right now, you are going to be placed under arrest for suspicion of driving while intoxicated, okay? No. And also, hang on, no. hang on, no. Alfredo. No. You're also going to be under arrest for driving a vehicle without. I was driving the vehicle. I watched that. Do not attempt to fight or flee, or force will be used against you. This entire interaction is being you're, recorded you're by... Gonna, you're going to put me under arrest? Okay. So what I need you to do is turn around, place your hands behind your back, okay? Hold on, please, please, you're going to you're gonna put me under arrest, that's yeah. okay. I need you to stop. That's okay. Let go of me. But, place your hands behind your back. Please we understand, can... let me understand, stop. give me, give me... I will let you talk later, okay? Okay. You can barely balance yourself. You need to throw up. Hey, so how Alfredo. Can, how can I? Alfredo, don't, stop. I'm asking, how can I, you know, get ready? Come on, let's walk. Let's walk over here. Okay. I'll talk to you, okay? Do you need to throw up before we get in my car? You want to try? No. You're okay? 
okay? I, I need to understand how can they get out of this? You can't. Don't get out of this, okay? What do you mean? Okay. I'll explain it to you in the car. Come on. Go ahead and lean up right here, okay? Just go ahead and lean up against the car so you don't fall, okay? All right. All right. So what's in the car? It's going to be towed now. Well, now I am searching to incident for rest, okay? And I just want to explain to you, okay? I know this isn't your first time being arrested for this. But I just need you to understand the reason you're not doing field sobrieties today, okay, is because I don't believe that you're at a level of sobriety where you can complete these tests, okay? So how do I get in the car? I'll explain that to you. Again, you be you be cool with me and I'm gonna be cool with you, okay? Yeah, I'm not mad. Right. Sit tight for a second, okay? I'll come back and I'll explain some things to you. Do we need the car too? 1223, 1223 cars. Let me unlock it real quick. Dude, this is I didn't count, but like he's got like four or five. on how, how high he blows, dude. That one I think is still close. That one might be close too. I think these two are still close. So these ones are Five open, 100 milliliters. So 
is that just a PVT? I, it might be like a... Ida 422 and Ida 423, the colors are hard of hearing. So she's not able to really provide that much money other than it's red down to the 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 other than saying that there's four subjects in the vehicle and they have a small 1030 with them. Well, no, they're like, power, yeah, they're not cabled in. in. So, I mean, that could just be a PVT, bro. Yeah. What does it say? The, I mean, it sound, seems like it was an actual one on the like a, like on an old car, but he probably took it off. Um, if you want to go start on 46 real quick, I'm going to see if I can get a hold of a 47 unit. So, also, hmm. you know what I mean? I can't. The only thing is, I can't. I'll do it, but I have to do it. Yeah, that's fine. Have so, you're saying sit? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to read you something very important, okay? Alright. You are under arrest for driving while intoxicated, possession of open containers, and driving while your license is revoked. Okay. The New Mexico Applied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. Uh, Do you agree to take our test? Not when it's listening like that. It's just beeping, man. It's a yes or no. Do you want to take our test? No. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? I do. Okay. 